And welcome back, guys, to another edition of me playing Dex. Uh, I kind of got out of Tony's Tony's hideaway right here, and they're telling me to go get some augmentations, basically implants, you know, chrome is what they call it in Shadowrun. You go in, you get yourself some augmentations and your know, metal arms and all that wonderful stuff. So that's my next step. We're going to go to the next part of the city and do that. Now I'm in a place called Taijo. Let's go this way. Okay. What's this all about? Missing person poster. Hello, guy. Okay, that's an interesting notion. Care to elaborate? You know how I will stop the fool? Um, no. With my secret, my magnus opus. Technology is going to take on a new meaning. Change forever. Unfurl. Fight the power. You, you might understand. Greatness takes on surprising forms. Yeah, sure. Let's be all Tai Chi and Zen and shit. Appearances are shadows. Illusions. I used to wear a tie, okay? Uh -huh. uh, Osamio. That's right. Information technology officer. That's what I was. Yesterday. And? and then, things started to happen. They started pulling the knot. Pulling it till I choked. Till I couldn't do my job no more. <sighs> I was 52. They said I was too old school to work in IT. Pulling the knot. An old guy doesn't get to undo no knots. You got to carry your curses. No one was going to want me when they saw that curse was on my back. I had to cut the freaking tie before it choked me to freaking death. I see. And now, now is today. The day of demons on all their backs. In the mind, talking, telling you what you're not. Only here on the street there. Here I can work. Here I'll make tomorrow. <laughs> but you can help. Yeah, I could use your help. Um. Yeah, what's in it for you? Oh, you help an old man of the street, and when the world kneels, that man will remember you. Okay, well, what exactly do you need? Of course. Shut up the talking ones. Axiologics. <laughs> Venium. Whatever. Anything to shut them up. Let me concentrate on my work. <laughs> okay, well first I'd like to hear a little more about your grand plan. Too dangerous. No. Kick me. This is my circle. You can't step out of the circle. Out. I have to check it every morning to make sure it isn't broken. Voices shot from outside. I, I can hear them. You understand? You understand? Okay then. I'll see if I can find some pills for you. Making the right allies. <laughs> Investing. Clever. I'll wait here. In my circle. Crazy people up in this town. Yeah, let's go in there. Hi there. What can I get you? Oh, yes. Of course. Is my brother Shen? Please tell me who fuck. I wish I knew. He vanished two weeks ago. He said nothing before he left. Only there was one thing. He met a girl recently. 
Actually, she's more of a woman. Lily. He changed. I thought nothing of it, but. Well, how did he change? New style, clothes, hair, always in front of mirror, acting like tough guy in front of customer. Any idea where I can find this Lily? I only saw her two times. She came home with Shen for dinner. Always sitting on a secret. Like her life was being lived by another. I didn't trust her. Not at all. Ah! But Lily has a friend. Charlene, I think. I heard Lily talk to her. Charlene has job in Chinese Quarter, downtown. I don't know what, but if you can find her, maybe she'll know where to find Shen, or at least Lily. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much. I light a candle for Shen every night. I really love the uh, the details they put into this game. Like I said, they, all these people are just moving in circles. You'll notice that after a while, but right off the bat, it doesn't really matter. That dog is going to run by countless times. The guy on the motorcycle down there in the foreground. See, here he comes again. There'll be a car soon, I'm pretty sure. Told ya. I still like it. It, it gives a, a lot of feeling of like the, the city being alive as opposed to not. And I, I kind of appreciate that. my eye out for an EHF scanner. Well, wow. I'm Dr. Niles, your very own implant neurology surgeon. That's neurology with an N, right? <laughs> and humor too. You're quite the specimen, aren't you? Now, Decker's message was very curt, but he said you needed implants, is that right? Quite rare to see a first time a march in already and willing. Any questions? something of a problem, but I'll come to that if you choose to first. What it is. A neural weave is a neural platform for multiple high-end augmentations. You will become adaptable, scalable, and upgradable. I, I won't lie, it means you're heading for some drastic changes. Don't worry, the neural weave itself won't affect your appearance. It'll simply affect how your body functions. God, this guy's creepy. If Digger wants you to install a neural weave, that means more implants to come. This is a spinal attachment that equips your brain to handle stimuli overload from multiple concurrent implants. Multiple. The neural weave is not a drastic change, but the implants that follow will be. I, I can only guess you'll be coming up against other augmented ones fighting fire with fire. It's the only reason Decker would want you all mended to this level. I can perform the operation for free, I owe Decker that much, but yeah, that's not the problem. The, the issue is, neural weaves don't exactly come in cereal boxes. This is a military-grade hardware we're talking about. My usual clients don't need it, so I don't stock it. Can't you order one? And here we come to the big problem. I can order a neural weave, but I daren't. Clearly, Decker hasn't heard the black market is flooded with defective implants right now. It seems they bring sabotage so that the body rejects them. Nastily. I know one or two suppliers who are still running good lines, but I'm guessing not for long. And with a neural weave, it's way too risky to install a faulty one. The consequences would be unimaginable. 
it isn't the police, it aren't the police, the grammar. Anyway, he said the implants are being sabotaged. You know who's doing it? Nobody knows. At first, everyone thought it was bad luck, a, a production line blunder, but cases are getting more and more frequent and across all kinds of hardware. What's happening is deliberate, and the situation is only getting worse. A friend of mine, Dr. Holm, owns a drugstore next to Fix's Home. From what he tells me, folks are barreling in with implant rejection all the time. He wants to put an end to it as much as I. Anyway, the deal is, if you want to get your hands on a safe, legit neural weave, you should first find out who's sabotaging all the implants. I'd suggest talking to Holm. He's bound to know things I don't. Yeah, but, but go easy on him. He can be a bit frosty, sure, but he's no bad egg. Okay. So we gotta go talk to this Dr. Holm guy. Um, but before I go there, I'm gonna go up the stairs. And go downtown. Sure, let's go to the general store. Hi there. Feel free to browse. What you see is what I've got. Did he now? Well, it's a friend who comes... Well, look at you. A mind for good eyes if I ever did see. Maybe a good one if... I... He's got a full-time job, granted. But it's the pills I blame. I swear. Ever since his divorce, that man's been up and down more than a yo-yo on a pogo stick. Actually, well. I'd be happy to throw you a few hundred credits if you dropped by his apartment and gave that fool a kick. Just a friendly one, of course. So we're looking for her financial advisor, her her tax consultant, essentially. He's gone missing or he's just not answering his phone. Finch lives near Fixer's Hope. You know him, his right? name is Finch. Apartment 112. No one home last time I checked, but you look like the lucky sort. If he's out, ask around his neighborhood. He's known around those parts. Really? Oh well. It's the prettiest flowers to get pissed on when a dog comes by. Take a look. You'll find some somewhere. Let's see. What must the cost? Oh, yeah. Nowhere. Chris. We got one. We're good. Real pleased to be seeing you. So the other thing is, you can sell stuff like magazines and stuff to people uh, for more if they like them. So, for instance, that magazine wouldn't have sold for forty-five at another store, but she likes tattoos, um, so you can sell it to her for a little bit more. All right, we're we're good. Maybe. Toilet paper. Why? Okay, we're gonna sell the steel chain and the toilet paper. Implant remains. I don't know. T shirt. Well, you know, we'll probably sell this to somebody else, but for now, we're out of here. Now there is a weird little loop in this game. Um, there's one thing that you you probably do, uh, you uh, that I wanted to finish and I couldn't finish because I found Finch too early. If for whatever reason the game wouldn't trigger, so that I could keep going. Welcome. Ah. Ooh. And the pickles come out. <laughs> yes. 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 My last seeds. How can you patent fruits? Vegetables, spices, yes, even spices. They say I cannot grow cumin. That cumin is patented. I must buy it from them. And then I go to their stores, and they don't sell the seeds, just the cumin powder. Something about health and hygiene, they tell me. But how can you make real kofta with powders and packets? All the flavor gone. No appreciation of old product. Well, I wouldn't be against uh, 
you know, stealing some if it's for a good cause. I could never ask you to take such a risk. These people, these people, you prick them with thorns, they shoot you with lead. But of course, if you ever happen to stumble upon a bag or two of human seeds, I'd happily take them off your hands. Happily. And generously. Not in our offices. Only staff and paper there. So much paper. And our forests fast becoming a memory. But yes, human seeds. Try looking around the docks. Uh, in the warehouses. All deliveries go through there. But you better hope for the luck, my friend. I'll try my best. Alright. So I get those two little bits done. Um... Now I'm going to go talk to Holm, or Hoyle, or whatever his name is. You know, the guy who... He's next to Fixer's Help. The old pervy doctor told me to go talk to him, so I'm going to go talk to him. And I could go down there, but I'm gonna wait. There's a there's a ladder right here, and there's stuff down there, but I'm I'm not gonna go right now. Oh hey, I should probably also check out how much. Okay, I have one one skill point. Oh wait. I want to get lock picking too, so I can open up doors. I don't remember if this place is covered or not. Oh, mouse is in the way again. Dirt. Friend Niles said you might know more about the implant crisis going on. An acquaintance of Dr. Niles. I see, yes. I've had a run of panicked customers lately, each showing symptoms of implant rejection. Everything from migraines to hardware burns. I'm a quick to help in most cases, but when a 20 stone roughneck breaks in crying like a child, Thrusts his shotgun into your naris and demands your entire stock of morphine. It can be a bit perturbing. I dare say my head would be all over the counter. If they didn't need it to learn which opioids to rob me of. <laughs> he reminds me of uh, Marvin, the robot from, uh, what is it? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Do you know who could be behind the crisis? I have my suspicions, yes. Just last week, I was visited by several hooded individuals who promised to execute me if I didn't stop treating those augmented freaks. I asked them how they even knew I had such patience. They were not inclined to answer. I'm waiting for them to realize I ignored their request. So who are these individuals? I identified one by his tattoo. A member of the True Body Gang. Crusaders of patronism, they say. But to everyone else, just another brand of thuggery on our streets. They terrorize anyone seen to be sporting hardware. So how can we find proof of their involvement? I appreciate those who take a considered approach to ethical cleansing. You have my respect and support. Some simple net running might be all that's needed. Intercept the communications over sea space and learn of their movements. They're not the brightest of individuals, so a moderately skilled hacker should have little problem bypassing their security. You do have hacking experience, don't you? Decker, uh, I know the man. 
Then I suggest you jack in and learn what you can. Based on that, you'll determine a course of action. All right, so we use his uh, computer right here to go ahead and hopefully it'll let me do that. Uh, hack into the True Body Network. Kind of hard to hit those little guys. Controller's not quite sensitive enough to actually be able to like just punch right on through and hit all those little guys on the, on the right line. So it's a lot of, you know, doing this. A lot of it, actually. It's a lot easier to do this, uh, diagonally. It's usually hit them a lot easier. Because they tend to move laterally, not diagonally, so they'll end up hitting the tail of your, your shot. Pretty sure that, yep, I knew it. I knew there was one around here somewhere. Damn it. So I kind of like the hacking minigame, except for the aim, of course, uh, because it just, you know, it cuts up the monotony of the side-scrolling uh, game. Even though the, the side-scrolling game is pretty cool, it, it does get a little monotonous. It's not too much of a puzzle platformer, really, so you basically just run around and, and sneak and kill people and talk to people and basically look at the same section of the, the city over and over and over again, because there's, you know, well, there's a big city. And I still haven't actually explored everything yet. This is certainly not my first playthrough. I haven't beat the game yet, but... Ah, oh man, there's a lot of stuff. There we go. Yeah, um, I, I like how big the city is, but this really does help break it up a little bit. Ah! So if you destroy those things, they turn into that. Really bad. Oh god, the three of them. I might die. It's an, how unlucky I get. So those little spinny things get stuck in the wall sometimes. You have to get rid of them because if you don't, there's a good chance they'll come back and kill you when you least expect it. Oh boy. Another enabler has revealed himself recently, a pharmacist near Fixer's Hope, named Holm. I must ask you to pay him a visit tonight and explain where his best interests lie. Make sure he gets the message. He shall not assist those who have chosen to wa walk off the true path. Chosen to walk off the true path. I can't read. Thank you. Now, I could leave, but... But I'm going to stay for a bit. I'm going to clear out the level. I don't leave any stone unturned if I can help it. Ends up really helping you later on every time you, you know, you get everything you can. Usually it's just credits. Oh, okay, let's eat turret. Nice. Okay. And a spawn point. That sucks. It's 
So if I die in here, I actually get kicked out of the of C space, which is computer space, the matrix, uh, however you like to call it. And basically, uh, I get a little bit of damage. It's usually like 10. It's like nothing. You know, 10 hit points or so. But it does suck. It means you have to be a little bit careful about, um, you know, what you do and, and whether or not you want to stay in. Because I can check out right now. But it hurts. Nope. Okay. Not it. Whoa. 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 Oh my god. So much purple stuff. We can get out of here now. Cool. Hey, what may I help you with this time? I managed to intercept True Body's comms. So They're responsible. You were right. A warehouse at the docks. Some military grade implants have just shipped in. That's their next target. You know, but while I'm here, what are you stocking, buddy? Street drugs. Yeah, we can get rid of those. Um, uh, I'll save those for now. Sure, I'll save that too, but what I do need is those. How much are they? 70 a pod. We get 10 of them. I know it's 700, but I actually need those, especially if I'm going to be going up against a street gang in the docks. I'm going to go talk to Niles. He's going to give us the next part of the mission. And that's the docks down there. Actually, before I go to Niles, I'm going to go in and see how much a gun would cost. Because, I mean, this is fun and all, but... Shooting is much better. Ooh, what's this? I've never seen this before. She has said look every single time. You're talking of trees that ain't your business and ain't mine. Now if you want to get with me, fine. Any otherwise, leave me be. So she sells porn, condoms, wine, and drugs. Interesting. Well, I was really curious where she where she was. I didn't find her last playthrough. I had no idea where where she was. Oh, and hey, look at that. I'm not here now. Um, huh, I was wondering how to get over here without being weird. Well, cool. So she doesn't know where they are. That's okay. I'll find Shen eventually. 
All right, we're gonna go talk to this guy. Found this parcel. It's addressed to gun store. Sure enough, it's my name on there. I won't ask where you got it, but if it's eh, nothing, nothing important. Uh, just a uh, couple of magazines. Uh, got to keep on top of the latest trends, you know. And uh, uh, Big Bazooka's monthly is just a. Uh, I'll uh, put. How do you burden this? What you calling for today? Smart friend. Yeah, I'm no stranger to firearms. So, you mean, some say it out loud, yep. Had me a thing for weapons and military gear even before my army days. But I love my antiques too. 20th century memorabilia, all sorts of things. And speaking so, I'm always on the recon for more. So if you empty a basement or find yourself an old trinket or two, bring them in. Just about anything pre 2 k I'll offer a fair price for them. How do you, birdiness? What you calling for today? Uh, this... Parcel. More likely than for that other dizzy gun sailor. My suppliers ain't good with pans. Let me take a look now. Booyah! Yes, it is. This year varmint been delayed, lost, or who knows what. Why, thank you, sister. And allow me to express my thanks by giving you a hundred credits and a box of shells on the house. What ammo are you packing there? Nine millimeters probably the best way to go. Yep. Nine millimeter? <laughs> How do you, Birdiness? Right, let's see what you got. Alright, poor Mag. Uh, same same price here as everywhere else. Okay, well. Uh, let's sell him a t shirt, too. Probably won't be needing the Magnum ammo. But I will be needing a gun. Got three rounds or three clips rather of knock ammo. I'll get two more maybe. Yeah, it's fairly cheap. Let's get up to ten. All right, got enough for that and enough for that. Okay, we, we should be well equipped now to go ahead and do what we need to do. All right, so here's how you equip stuff. It's actually pretty simple. You take this, hit uh, what A once, move your cursor all the way down to the bottom, hit paste. That's it. I, I, it doesn't. It's not very intuitive. It really isn't. So moving stuff around is like you know copy paste, copy paste. Um, I mean, it's a pretty old school looking game. It, it's a very weird interface. They did they did what they could with it. it it's still very manageable. Just not quite as nice as. Some of the more, I don't want to say newer games, since this isn't that old. I mean, it just came out, but it's not quite as nice as it could be. Let's go talk to Niles. So, like I said, it's manageable. We just have to get used to it. Gotta say, I found out that the true body game behind the implant sabotage. Take a look at these emails. I just never imagined those small time punks would pull off a record of this scale. So, the next target is the shipment of the docks. Huh? Let me see. Munitions, weaponry, high tech hardware. I bet there'll be neural weaves on board. Listen, if you can get into that warehouse before True Body does, you can sneak in past the guards, you have just what and while you're at it, maybe there's something else you can do. <laughs> if we're gonna stop this scourge, we need to find out where they're hiding. Now here's a small tracker. Attach it to a weapons crate. If True Body are gonna steal weaponry, as they say, that crate should lead us right to them. Okay. Lost his wife and kid that was shooting a few years back. Caught in a crossfire. How's that for a life of misfortune in a flash, huh? The only thing that keeps poor home going is feeling useful. Go easy on it. 
I got to say, I'm not really happy with being worked on in a workshop, but... Augmentation make you any less human if humanity is about progress and progress is about technology. Technology founded civilization, not the other way around. This here is the next step in the evolution of our species. The natural next step. Or are you worried about being less you? Uh, you don't need a philosopher to tell you that you're more than a physical body. Soul? Consciousness, destiny, call it what you will. But why would that essence be any worse off if you made your body better? You give it power. Jump higher, run faster, deduce quicker, and kick ass harder. Okay, I'm out of here. And that's it for this one. I, uh, I am now going to probably go to the docks and take out the true body gang, or, you know, plant the tracker, steal the neural weave, take out the guards. Yeah, that, that's probably the next step, and I'd and I probably end up doing that, uh, you know, like, next time, probably. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys another time. Bye guys.